pasta, peanut butter, coconut milk maybe. No, when I speak about the evil P word, I mean politics. Oh, you always talk about politics. Yes, yes I do. So let's cut and peel the ginger, the onions and the garlic. Ginger, as I have learned only recently, is most easily peeled with a spoon. Today's recipe is just about as easy as voting and more political. What? But what am I talking about? I am talking about the fact that politics aren't really about politics anymore. That we shouldn't leave politics to the politicians, those who care least. I'm talking about me talking about politics. I'm talking about you having a dinner party, inviting 10 to 20 people, talking about politics. I'm talking about how you are not unpolitical, even though you may think so. When I say that we shouldn't leave politics to the politicians, I don't mean we should form parties or talk about the ministers and presidents of this world. It's far more easy than that. It begins with you talking to your friends about the world that surrounds us, talking about how much money you earn, how much you pay for your rent, comparing it maybe, and talking about why it is the way it is, if it's good the way it is, or if it could be different. And how could it be? How could you imagine this world to be? This is what I mean by doing politics. In the next step we cut up the vegetables. I took whatever was around. You can take any vegetables. I took carrots and tomatoes because they are in season here. And as soon as the water is boiling we put in salt, heaps of salt and the pasta. Many people have this thing. They think that politics is boring and bad and evil and they don't want to talk to you about anything at all. They want to talk about the weather or the newest episode of Mad Men. I guess you know some of those too. And I'm not saying they are not my real friends, but I'm not sure if those are the people I want to hang around with and do things with if they are not even able to talk about the things that are happening in the Mediterranean Sea or at the borders of Europe. If they give me the feeling of not really caring about what's happening with them and their position in the world. If you have two pans, you can of course also make this recipe with rice. This is of course a political question, as everything that surrounds us, as everything we do is. Do we cook with rice or with pasta? Do we cook with one pan or with two? Do we cook for 10 people, for 20 or only for 3? After draining the pasta, the time has come to heat up some oil and stir fry the onions, the garlic and the ginger. A bit later on you can add the sambal erlek and the peanut butter. Here the ratio is really all about if you want it hot or rather sweet. So you can try out how much exactly of what you want to put in. And then you can add and stir the coconut milk and see how it all thickens up to this nice and yummy sauce. The word politics has its roots in the ancient Greek word politikos, meaning relating to or for citizens. And that's why I think that cooking is something very political, as is everything that you do with a group of people. And that's why I think that cooking for comrades is probably even more political than voting, because voting doesn't really have anything to do with you and your surroundings anymore. To the sauce of surroundings, we now add the vegetables with all their different flavors and all their different points of view. And together, with all the discrepancies between them, they form a whole, an interesting taste that is not without contradictions. By cooking you engage in your environment and you start talking with the people while you are eating and you start having a discussion, maybe even some conflicts. But hey, why not? So you may want to add some soy sauce for the salt of it all and then put in the pasta and stir it all together until it becomes this real mushy thing. Mm, yummy! So our phony Thai recipe represents sweetness, hotness and saltiness. Different flavors that can be seen as kind of a contradiction, but nevertheless form something greater together. 
And that's why I think we should start talking about politics with our friends. So even if we have contradictions, never mind. That's what it's all about. That's what makes up the different flavors of this world. And that's the only way that we can find out how we want this world to be. Maybe with some green onions on top. Who knows? <laughs>